this up a little bit better <laughs> and then we'll be ready to go drive it today. Oof. Check. She's good bud. Yeah? Yeah I, I give it like probably 60-70% throttle, made 10 psi. Damn. Yeah man she's happy. Everything's good, AFR is good. Okay. Drive's good, not a single hiccup. Cylinder head temps are a little hot right now, but I just went one, two, three. You know, it like, is hot as shit. It's hot right as fuck. It says 91, that can't be accurate. Okay. But I just did three back to back 60, 70% throttle pulls at 10 psi, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah, dude. With the AC on, you know what I mean? Stereo playing. Oh. So we'll let it sit for a few, we'll check for any leaks, I'll run through, check all the fluids, but yeah man, should be ready for uh, some data logging and some breaking in and then some money runs. <laughs> Already acts like she wants her hair pulled bro. Yeah? Oh yeah. That's why I had to give it a couple passes right there. Beasley is ready for breaking, Josh is going to take it home and start breaking it in. This car is ready to get the motor pulled out. And Mr. David's engine is right here and it's ready to be uh, put in his car whenever we bring it in. Let's see if we can get him. That smile, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was so fucking worth it. Oh, oh my god. I still didn't even go to like that was like 7,500. Yeah. And I mean, I was full throttle, but it was like 7,500 short shifting. Like, dude, this thing can still go to. It's fast. It's so fast. I didn't even. I didn't even watch the boost gauge. I was just watching AFR. So All right, Edwin's car is going in the shop right now because getting a BNR 525 installed. So we have one car getting motor taken out, so we can go up to Tennessee, and then this one's getting a turbo upgrade. Yeah, Alright, so uh, we like... Well, I, take, I was going to take some photos, yeah. Okay, well, let me tell them why we're putting those Oh on. yeah, go ahead. So sure. basically, Beasley's car is a... Manifold car, upgraded manifold, which is a Boss 302 Pro Charger. With all that being said, it's a top-end car. So for most of the races, he's always all the way in the back in the beginning, and then he just takes over. So we have the boost loading, so they see that in their rear view mirror. And then after that, when his reeling in starts going, wait, put it on. Yeah, put it on. And then I'll show you a video of what exactly we're talking about. And then you put the just sell it right there. After he reels them in. Absolutely. All right. Every time. Let's get to it. this now with no grind kits because it makes it more easier and uh yeah oh uh, <laughs> you'll have to get this guy to do it right here Shit. i got this car pretty well torn ready. down i got all the wiring harness released ready to rock i got the starter out i got oil out oil is definitely showing signs of uh having been flooded with ethanol so it probably washed down the cylinders and probably spun a rod bearing if i had to guess found a little tiny piece of metal 
in the oil, which looks very similar to copper rod bearing material. See that? Mm -hmm. So I bet when we open up the oil pan and flip her over, once oh, we get the motor pulled, that we're gonna find that the rod bearing is spun. That's my first initial guess. Uh, most likely cause the E85 uh, injectors either got stuck or fired when the cylinder was, you know, already closed or something. And it wound up washing the ethanol down into the oil. Because when I drained the oil, uh, the oil is full of ethanol. Like the first quart and a half was all ethanol. So I wound up not allowing it to go into my bucket. I wound up just letting it drain into the top section so that I could feel through and filter through and that's where I was able to find the piece of metal. Um, but yeah, so my guess is that the ethanol washed out the oil, caught the bearing with it being washed out, and knock, 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 knock. So, All right. we'll keep turning wrenches and getting it ready to rock. Say less. Get ready to get it pulled and get it ready to take Tennessee. Yeah, I called you uh, and said we're planning to go up next week, even though it may not be. Yeah, I just said that so we get your parts a little bit faster. Tell them, Bob. Once your parts are here and this thing is yanked, yeah, we'll be able to have this yanked probably in a business tomorrow. I would think it's probably realistic. Uh, Code Dog is is making headway on that. Old Edwin. Once we get that wrapped, that'll go home, and then I think we have header drop off right today. Um, I don't know if it's today. I think I think well, we tomorrow. asked him to try and do for, for we did earlier, we did. so either today or tomorrow. And but, then we uh, have Matarcola, which should just take a couple hours. Yeah, it's going to only take a couple hours, and he's two hours away, so it's probably not anything we can get to him until Saturday, because he's not going to be able to come back and pick it up, you feel me? So right. Actually, it would be drop-off tomorrow, Bob, because drop he's off for the 24th and the 25th. 10-4. So a day earlier would be the 23rd tomorrow. But yeah, we would be ready to rock, then. Yeah, man, it's going to be a great week. We got Jets tires today, is that what those are? Yep, I are, I've already sent her update. All Set. we're waiting on is Willie to give us a go to come pick those up. Yep. Um... You already took Willie the brakes and stuff. We gotta already take up. him. We gotta remember to take him back his samples. Yes, I'll do that when I pick up Jets calipers. Actually, let me text him now and see what the ETA is because it's been a while with those. Yeah. So on this, our oh, goal is, yeah. um, you know, we've been doing a lot of these BNRs with the EMS no grind kit, and the only problem we have with the BNRs is really the coolant lines. Once you add the EMS no grind kit to space it away from the block, the um, the hard bent lines kind of are. A nuisance you know they don't exactly fit and it's not being ours fault I mean they built this uh, based on having the block shaved mm -hmm. um, now that we between EMS and us now that we've started doing these EMS no grind kits right we're spacing it off of the block which means that the normal line that has a bend here that's 45 degrees well now we've moved that one inch away from the block or whatever it is and now that should have been a 60 degree bend or whatever I'm making that up you feel me but the point is, is that those hard lines become a nuisance for installation. Um, and so what we're doing is we're going to replace the hard lines like this. And we're going to go to AN fittings that will be, um, we'll, we'll supply heat wrap so that way that they don't get hot over your downpipe or over the turbo housing. Um, and hopefully this will make installations much cleaner, much easier, and not have to be such a nuisance with the hard lines. And this will just be something that, I don't know what the initial cost is going to be. Maybe somewhere in the sixty to one hundred dollar range for both the coolant lines to be the ANs with the DEI wrap. Um, we've just got this here as an initial test vehicle, and once we get it figured out, we'll get the, the lengths and all of that jazz, and we'll buy this stuff in bulk, and that way we can try and get the pricing down. But uh, probably somewhere in the sixty to one hundred dollar range. Our goal is to be under a hundred bucks. So stay tuned for that. We'll, uh, we'll have some product photos, some uh, installation tips and stuff, and hopefully be able to help you guys with your installations on your BNR turbos. Hell yeah. This, this car should be work. ready in and, uh, a few days, that, uh, and for now, let's get back to Edwin's car. Edwin's car is done. We're gonna go test drive and make sure everything's fine under load. Are you even logging? You're such an
but it is base map, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, well, I mean, they're all they're all really slow the on base map. Exactly. It was Still, me, it, it peaked 20 pounds, usually the fucking... Yeah, like 16 or something. 16, yeah. All right, well, uh, Edwin's car is fully ready to rock. And uh, I think this little Edwin vlog right here, right? I like it, yeah. Right. I mean, all it's left today is I think Coach is going to pull out a cola. All right, well, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, see you in the next one.